<laughs> Welcome to the Shrine Auditorium, where the 70th Annual Academy Awards are about to begin. Oh, look, kids, it's everyone's favorite purple dinosaur. It's Barney. How you doing? It's me, it's Eddie Murphy. Oh, Eddie Murphy, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. Your costume threw me off there. Uh, boy, you must be a big star. You had that suit FedExed all the way from 1985. <laughs> you know what, you're asking a little tough, but you're nice. I like that. It's oh, funny. Oh, you know, you know what? You're barking up the wrong tree here, Eddie. Homie, don't play the crying game. <laughs> yeah, no. No, but you know what? What's your name, sir? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Baby, don't even worry about it. You know what? That joke's getting a little old now. I suggest you step aside in this platinum and let the real style come through. Okay. Let's go. Off you go. I'm sure Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd are keeping your seat warm at the used to be funny section. Hi. Welcome to Vancom. How may I help you? Hi, I'm looking to buy a lipstick. Okay, we've got our newest color, which has just come out at the rose. Let me just try this on you. Ja. You know what? What? Yeah. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, your lips are just way too thin. See, we here at Vanco and we really wouldn't feel comfortable about putting our names on those things. <laughs> well, okay, thanks for stopping by, Vanco. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. I swear, if a woman walked through that door right now, I'd go gay. <laughs> the chances, huh? See, uh, my Winnebago broke down out front. I was hoping you might be able to give me a jump. <laughs> well, if Brittany can do it to Madonna without throwing up, I guess so can I. Here goes. Huh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing there, Ellen? No. Huh? <laughs> I thought I'd maybe Listen. just give it a little... No, see, the only time I touch Kitty is when I'm at the pet store. <laughs> I see what you did there. There's a double entendre. I'm, I'm, entendre. I'm, 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 One word means two different things, yeah. one of them usually being sexual. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you see right. what you did there? It's That's a good joke. This is the beginning of a very good friendship. Oh. <laughs> I saw the index card down at the Super A, you know. Thought I'd come by and, you know. Check out, huh? check out the car. Huh? Huh? Do you want to check it out? Huh? This is the car in the ad. Um, as you can see, it's got uh, no dents. It's been in no accidents. Um, it's in great condition. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, the interior is uh, in perfect condition if you want to take a look huh? inside. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to get a gander, huh? Sure, why not? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Thank you. Uh, the car I've owned uh, myself the, what the whole time. What the heck is that, huh? What do you got over there? Huh? You mean the, the, the air freshener? Air freshener? The air freshener? Yep. Air, oh, air freshener? Yes. Ah. It's an air freshener. Air freshener. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Anyway, about the car. Um, <laughs> That's got a real nice shape to it, doesn't it? What is that? Cedar, or, uh, huh? You, eucalyptus, or uh, I don't, huh? spruce? I, it, it looks like a huh? It looks like a pine to me. Pi oh. Pine. Pine tree. Pine. Yes, I think it's a pine tree. A pine tree. Yes. Oh, pine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Yes. Anyway, uh, the tires are uh, original to the car, and they're all in great condition. You can check the... Oh, real. Outdoorsy smell going on in there, too. Huh? <laughs> what do you think that is? I, su huh? I suppose it's a pine, pine scent to go with the pine tree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... The... Tiny little ornament. Yeah. That's something you don't see every day, is it? Actually, yeah, you do. Uh, in thousands and thousands of cars, you see them. They're in all kinds of cars. Uh, speaking of cars, the back... <laughs> it's a five... It's a five speed. Oh, that's cute. What the heck you got there? Uh, well, good morning. We're serving free samples of granola today. If you'd like to try some, please go ahead. 
What the heck you call this here? Uh, that's a, a mini cup. M mi huh? A mini cup. Mini oh, mini cup? Mini cup. Yeah? Well, that's not something you see every day, huh? I guess not. Ah. You'll need this right here. I suppose oh. you could call it a, a mini spoon. Uh -huh. That's cute. Lowered expectations. Doreen and Stuart, number 962. Can we talk right into camera? Okay. Well, hello. I'm Doreen Larkin, and I just want to say right off the bat that I'm not looking for a husband so much as I'm looking for a father figure for my son, Stuart. <laughs> Well, sit up, Stuart. No. Come on, sit up. <laughs> sit up. Oh, my husband left us on Tuesday, and when you're as gifted as Stuart, you need a constant male influence. And as well, Stuart, where did you get those chips? Where did you get those chips? I found them on the floor. Oh, well, you give me those right now. Stuart, you give Mama those chips. Oh, oh, he has such an appetite. Oh. Well, what do you expect with such a growing boy? He's my boy, my big boy. The doctors say they don't really know how big he's going to get. Oh, look at him. He's so active. We're looking for somebody who'd maybe like to wrestle in a pool. Isn't that right, Stuart? Isn't that right? Well, don't get all cranky on me. Why don't you tell him what you're looking for in a daddy? Well, tell him. Well, tell him. Just go ahead. Now's your chance. Stuart, don't be shy, boy. Now tell him. This is your chance to be on television. I'll tell <laughs> oh, isn't he adorable? Hi. There he How is, is my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Such a handsome boy. Me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just from the bunch of you together. It's hard for me to know exactly who's who. <laughs> Wait a second, how did you guys get into my apartment? Oh, 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 I made like one of your ninja friends and I snuck in through the window. <laughs> um, these aren't ninjas, they're my cousins. I don't know any ninjas. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> He's an average Asian, and it's his extra special He's an average Asian, and it's his extra special He's all the way to the world. He's an average Asian. Bunifa, number one, eight, seven. Hi, my name is Bunifa Latifa Halifa Sharifa Jackson. And see, I got a job of my own, so I need a man to give me nothing, you know what I'm saying? But I am looking for someone who wants to, you know, like, take me to special places, like the Sizzler, or go to movies that we could talk through, you know, not some tired-ass brother trying to knock a sister's boots, you know, as soon as he meets her on the first day. You know why? Because I ain't going down like that, you know what I'm saying? You must be out your damn mind to think you're going to hit it and put it on the first day, because I ain't going out like that. Uh-uh, no uh uh uh, -uh. 
looking for that special someone, you know, that I could pamper with, like, ooh, 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 like back rubs and, like, ooh, foot massages, you know? Because I'll do all that as long as you planning to stick around, you know? Because if you like using me to get what you want, then look in my eye. I will cut you deep, okay? Because I don't need to talk. Let me tell you something. I came into this world alone, and damn it, I'ma leave it alone, so I ain't tripping. <laughs> but you know, call me, you know what I'm saying? And you white boys can call me too, cause like, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> vanilla and chocolate still make chocolate. Nicola Tifa Halifa Sharifa Jackson, first bound one, eight, seven. BET Films proudly presents Lords of the Blame, a special guest appearance by Shaq as the evil sorcerer. Kazan. The war of the Glen is about to begin. So now I call upon my great army of Kobe Sox. I can't tell. Are you cheering? Or are you booing? Are you punks laughing? Because I can't make a free throw? If you punks don't shut up, I'm going to start rapping. I did have this friend in the thousand BC. We discover a bevy of bathing beauties. First of all, I'm not Shaq. I'm because I am a rapping genie. Because I am. We genie. Whoa, 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 wait, I'll move it. I'll move it. Hey, ah, wait. too late. I already started writing the ticket. I've only been here five minutes. I can move it. Please, let's just. I said it. I already started writing the ticket. Okay? Now, if you want to start some trouble over here, we can get ghetto. I'm not trying to get ghetto. Okay? Oh, my God, it's Jerry Springer. You're Jerry Springer, right? right yeah. Oh my, Let me tell you something. I love your show, okay? I watch it every night. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Oh. oh, would you mind, like, signing a, you know, an autograph for me? I'd, I'd be delighted. Oh, oh, thank you. Who do I make this out to? Um, Bunifa, Latifa, Halifa, Sharifa, Jackson. <laughs> um, why don't I just make it out to Bunifa? Wait, 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 wait. What'd you say? Why don't I just make it out to Benita? I said my name is Bonifa Latifa Halifa Sharifa Jackson. Bonifa, uh, how do you want me to make this Bonifa. Oh, that's right. Latifa. With an H. <laughs> Halifa. Halifa. With an H. <laughs> Sharifa. Did I say H? <laughs> Jackson, thank you. You know what? I almost feel funny, you know, giving you a ticket. Well, you, you know, you don't have to give me the ticket because, you know. I said I almost feel funny. I didn't say it was. What you want me to do, lose my job? What you trying to do, get me fired, huh? I got bills. What I supposed to do for it, huh? What am I supposed to do then? Move in with you? What am I now, your hoe? <laughs> I'll sign the ticket now so I can get going. All right, here's your ticket, but you ain't going nowhere, because it's fall too, and after 4 o'clock, this turns into a tollway zone. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Do I look like one of them jackasses from Mad TV? <laughs> no, you look like one of the guests on our show. Oh, it's like that. I, 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 it's like that. I, I got something for you and your damn car. Hey, Mike. Yeah, I got a car for you to talk. There, there's Oprah. She's double parked outside of the pancake house. Why don't you get her? Oprah! Oprah! Loading all first class passengers, passengers traveling with small children, and children traveling alone on flight 267 to Chicago at gate 35. Like I was saying, Mrs. Larkin, there's nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I'm just so nervous about my baby flying on a plane all alone. It's his first time flying by himself, you know. Oh, I know, but don't worry. We deal with the situation all the time. Oh. Where's your little boy? Oh, he went to the little boy's room. He had to make brown bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is. Shut! <laughs> you get that devil dog? I found it on the floor. <laughs> well, you can't eat that. What did Mama say about the devil dog? I don't want to say. What does Mama say about the devil dog? I don't want to say. <laughs> devil dogs look like cream-filled poop. That's right. And Mama doesn't want you eating poop. Oh, now, Stuart, no. Oh. Don't you eat that. You've had enough sugar today. You're going to get the diabetes. Oh, he loves snacking. 
talking. Now, Stuart, this is the nice lady that's going to help you on your flight. Go on, come over here. Well, let me do go it. Go on and go let over. Let me do it. Come on. Hi, Stuart. My name is Cindy. No. It's very sweet, honey. I was just going to say hello. No. He's going to see his daddy for Thanksgiving. He left us on Tuesday, you know. Well, we better get Stuart seated. Okay, come on, Stuart. Let's get on the plane. I don't want to go on the well, plane. Well, come on. It's time to board. Let's get on the plane and go. On the plane. Come on, let's go right now. Now, that ticket was expensive, and if you don't get on your daddy's not going to pay me back. Sir, where's your jacket? I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Uh, you know what? You probably left it at the Cinnabon stand, and now I'm going to have to go and get it. Oh, would you try and get him on the plane? And no matter what he tells you, no more candy, Stuart, or your goo goo balls won't drop. <laughs> oh, candy. Oh, well, just hurry because we're boarding right now. So if you could hurry. Well, well Stuart, do you want to get on the on the plane? I want some candy. Well, Stuart, you know we're going to have so much fun. We're going to go way high up in the sky, and when we get up there. If you look out the window, all the cars on the street, all the cars, they look like tiny little ants. You've seen tiny little ants before, haven't you, Stuart? Good. Well, we're going to have so much fun, and I would love if we could just get on the flight now. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Now boarding passengers in rows 25 through 35. Rows 25 through 35, now boarding. La, la, la. <laughs> that, 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 that's not yours. Don't! Stuart, that's not yours to play with. Don't! Stuart, that is the property of the airlines and that is... Don't! Right. I'm going to ask for that back Stuart, right Stuart, what are you doing? You stop that right now and you give that back that to the That is not lady. a toy. Don't! Oh, Stuart, you give that back. Go on, give it back. Let me do it. <laughs> Can you please hold me? Let me do fine, it. Fine, fine. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank hey, you. Now, enough dawdling. Let's get you on that plane, no, Stuart. No, Come on. No, I want some candy. Oh. No time for oh, candy. 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 Oh, if I give you some candy, will you get on the flight? Yes. Well, I have some okay, Skittles right one. here. Do you want some Skittles? Here you go. I don't know which color. Well, just yeah. pick one. <laughs> there you go. Okay, no, no, that's want enough. Some more now, no more candy. No more candy. That's enough. Now get. You want some more? Candy? I'm all ready. Me too. <laughs> thousands of human beings. <laughs> and here is the centerpiece of my human collection, Dr. Fay! for creating the Dr. Phil Show. 
for without it, I would truly be somewhere in Texas, sitting in a trailer, drinking excessively, and touching my private parts while watching Mexican soap operas. You got it. You know, recently a tornado touched down in Weed Hole, Oklahoma, and it was devastating. Wow. Wow. And my first guest is a man who lost everything. So please welcome guest. <laughs> Now, guest, you lost everything in a tornado. That's right, Oprah. I lost my home, everything. I don't know what to do. Uh, Oprah, may I speak? Uh, make it quick. Absolutely, Oprah. And thank you, Oprah. Now, son, it's important for you to know that after a natural disaster, people can rebuild. They can take the shattered remnants of their lives and they can put them back together. But you live in that crap sack, Oklahoma, so I don't know what to Good luck. Good luck. Philip, you are so observant. Wow. Wow. I mean, honestly, isn't he the best fake therapist you've ever seen on television? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what, guest? My heart really goes out to you. So I'm going to give you the Oprah Hawkeye! Oh. <laughs> In order to rebuild your home, you're going to need an architect, <laughs> contractors, <laughs> a design team from Home Depot, <laughs> and lots, and lots. Oh, cash. <laughs> so good luck with that. But what I'm going to get you is a ladies cashmere scarf from Burberry. <laughs> from my favorite things collection in this month's All Magazine. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're talking with seven-year-old college sophomore Karen Goddard. Yes, I know. I know. She's amazing. She's amazing. Seven. Ooh, thank you. Yes, yes. Now, Karen, am I right? You are pre-med. That's correct. Wow. Uh, I also would like to get a second degree in engineering as well. And my dream is to marry the two degrees and become a doctor uh, that designs prosthetic limbs for amputees living in war-torn regions of Africa. Wow, wow. She's seven. I know. Seven. Seven. Boy, if I were missing a limb, I'd come to you. <laughs> really. I'm dying to know what it's like raising a child genius. Let's meet Karen's parents. We've got Howard and his wife, Wesley, and Karen's twin sister, Dot. <laughs> So, please, folks, what is it like day to day with, with such a, a fascinatingly, interestingly smart child? I mean, are you just constantly in a state of awe? Uh, much of the time, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we knew Karen was special when she was, you know, just months old. She was like uh, no infant we'd ever seen. Hey, look how little my gloves are. <laughs> how are these ever going to fit on my hands? <laughs> Balance, we find, is the key to raising an exceptional child. Okay, balance meaning? Nurturing her gifts as well as giving equal time to her childhood interests. Ta-da! <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> you want to know how I did it? Dot and I both have chores, and we both get an allowance. Oh, an allowance. Now, do you save it or do you splurge? Well, the money that I get from my lecturing, I save and invest. Um, but the allowance, I usually blow. So, Mostly on books. I buy uh, gloves and some gum sometimes. <laughs> it depends, really. Like, if I got a lot of money and if I didn't bury it, and I have some left over, then I get some gloves. <laughs> Speaking of books, Excuse we've me got... Excuse one minute, please. I'm sorry. 
I am going to murder you. Excuse me, Tom, do you have a moment? Yeah? I wanted to talk to you about Mr. Sprouse. Tom, what he said really insulted me. Just tell me what happened, all right? All right. I was in the snack area. Of course. <laughs> and I was eating a banana. Cindy. <laughs> what? A banana. Y yes, I was eating a banana. Not a bear claw? <laughs> no. What does a bear claw have to do with anything? I, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to figure this out. Please Help me out, please. I am trying to tell you. <laughs> I was in the snack area. I was eating a banana. And Brian comes in and he says, boy, I sure wish I was that banana right now. <laughs> See, I think you're reading too much into this. I think, you know, he just meant that he literally just wants to be a banana. That's not all. He pinched my bottom. <laughs> How could you tell? Because I felt it. You, you felt it? Was he, did he use a pair of pliers? <laughs> What, what do pliers have to do with anything? No, I'm no, just... he used his fingers. You know, this has happened to me before, and no one ever seems to believe me. Not my family, not my co-worker, not even my minister. What about the guy at the fast food window? I don't eat fast food. Cindy. Well, this time, I secretly tape-recorded Brian coming on to me. You are the sexiest, most beautiful woman I've ever seen, and if we don't make love, I am going to explode. Mark, listen, I am so sorry. I owe you an apology. You watch this. Miss Presby, could you please have Brian Waymeyer fired immediately? Thank you, Mr. Tabler. You're welcome. I cannot have somebody working for me who is totally out of his mind. <laughs> Appreciate it. It is very difficult being a single, attractive woman in the work world. I know you know nothing about that. I think that makes two of us. Sweetie. Yeah, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? slider. You're okay, I want five. Five what? Burger. Ma'am, please tell me which burger. You're okay, uh, five burger and a nugget. Chicken nuggets? Nugget? Come on, you need to know the menu better. You want a six piece or a nine piece? Why you say six or nine? I tell you one, you try to rip me off. Come on now, I need to talk to the manager. I am the manager. Now, do you want one six-piece chicken nugget or one nine-piece chicken nugget? Yeah, okay, one six nine one and a McDicky milk. Okay, you mean a McDicky shake? Yeah, okay, you can shake. Now, I don't understand your order. Okay, one more time, I tell you I think. I want a burger but five, a McDicky milk, and nugget. Okay, now you don't pay attention. I am paying attention, but okay. I... Okay. Now, here I come. Hi. All right. Look, you got the deluxe, you got the double patty, you got the mini slider. Which burger do you want? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm trying to take your order. Okay, now you don't need to yell at me, Mr. Jackass in Box. <laughs> okay, I already tell my 
my order to the bozo in there. That bozo with me. Oh, hi, bozo. <laughs> Lady, what is your problem? I tell you, okay, my problem is I give my order to you in there, but I cannot understand you, you know? You sound like this. Hello, Mother of God, woman, just tell me what kind of burger you want. Okay, I tell you, the hamburger? Yes. And they look like a burger. They all look like a burger. All of them. Okay. Which one? Not one, five. Five of what kind? Hamburger. I can't take you anymore. Hey, looky, here's a deluxe. Hey, looky, a double batter. Hey, looky, a minute smiling. You know what? It's been great working with you. <laughs> It work every time. Free burger for me, Swan. Oh, no, stupid. Did I just call you stupid? Stupid? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, is that guy waving at you or me? Hmm? That would mean... That Jim and I are brother and sister. I'm afraid so. That can't be because we've already we've with the with the. Your number? <laughs> Could I have it? Could I have it? Oh, Can I please no. receive the secret code no. that if in it telephonically, it will pass me through to you, which means it'll be your beautiful ass number? No, no. Could I have it? No, no, no. No, no come on, could I have it? Can I have it? Could I have it? Can I? Can I? Can I have it? It's the moment you've been waiting for, here to announce the winner. Having beaten over 10,000 hopefuls is your American Idol. Please say hello to Kelly Clarkson. Here we go. Will Bobby Brown please step forward? See, I told you, girl, ain't gonna be no new edition oh. reunion. <laughs> ain't not, not here. Yeah. Oh, What's up, man? Keep stepping forward and right on out the door. You need to yeah, because Whitney Houston, you are the all-star American Idol. Diva! Thank God. No turtle wax and no macadamia nuts. Calf I ain't look. I ain't taking the bus home, man. Yeah, no. You want to buy some? Yeah. No, just take. I did it. You want to buy some? No, just take. That's my husband. Off. Hey, just a reminder: if you have no life, log on to idolonfox.com and look at some tour dates. Yeah, but right now, sit back and enjoy the two winners of American Idol, Whitney Houston and Kelly Clarkson, as they sing us out. Yes. Give me that. All right. Come on. This is the best Chinese food I've had in a long time. Yeah, mine's great, too. Oh, no. What? I hate when people bring children to restaurants. Oh, Stuart, this is 
your first time at a Chinese restaurant. Isn't this fun? <laughs> the waiter's face looked weird. <laughs> well, that's because he's Asian. <laughs> Where did his eyes go? <laughs> well, Stuart, they didn't go anywhere, honey. They're just a different shape. They look like this. <laughs> That's right, that's the way that God made him, just like he gave you the lazy eye. I don't have a lazy eye. Oh, yes, you do. Well, you have gray hair in your danger zone. Stuart! Did you peek at Mommy when she was changing again? Oh. No, it was sticking out of your bathing suit at the Mackenzie's pool. Do you know what you want to eat? A Happy Meal. So it is a Chinese restaurant. They don't make the Happy Meal. Then I hate the Chinese. <laughs> Stuart! That kind of talk is racist. What does Mama say about little boys who are racist? Little boys who are racist learn to be racist from their mother. That's oh. right. Helps. Oh. <laughs> Stuart, I have never said anything racist in front of you. <laughs> you said that Canadians are wussies. <laughs> and that black people are not scary if they keep their hair neat. All right. <laughs> the French are smelly and can't fight. All right, okay, Stuart, that is enough. Oh, and you said that the Chinese were ugly. <laughs> Forgive my son. We're going to have him tested. Okay, you guys ready to order? Yes, I will have the egg foo young, and my son will have a nice big bowl of white rice. Oh, is that cute? Ah! Excuse me? No, I'm just saying that the order was cute. <laughs> um, you guys okay? You guys need anything? Can we have the check? Sure. Thank you. All right, Stuart, Mama's got to go make a little trip to the Biffy to make room for more food. But I'll tell you what, I want you to use all your manners, okay? You're a good boy, use all of them, yeah. You use your manners, too. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. <laughs> what movie do you want to see? I was thinking about the hours. I don't know, I hear that's just about suicidal lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> My Aunt Linda's a lesbian. She has short hair. <laughs> That's interesting. You have short hair. Are you a lesbian? No. My mom says it's okay to talk to lesbians because they take good care of their cats and they have a can-do attitude. Your mom is an idiot and we're trying to eat our dinner in private. What are you eating? Well, I'm having the fried rice and she's having the poo-poo platter. My mom may be an idiot, but she would never eat a platter of poo. Shut up. Hey, hey. <laughs> honey, yeah. honey, honey. He's just a little kid. Okay, fine, sure. Can we just go? All right. Well, let's at, le let's at least read our fortune cookies. Great. You will find love if you search for it. Okay? Wait, 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 you're supposed to say between the sheets. <laughs> you will find love if you search for it between the sheets. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How dare you come on to your boyfriend like a cheap street whore in front of my impressionable son! I was not coming on to him! <laughs> That's because you're a lesbian. <laughs> You brat! I am not a brat, you lesbian! <laughs> lady! Lady! You should leave your son at home because he is psycho! psycho. How dare you call my son a psycho! Oh, because he is!
and that was ugly. Just like the Chinese. <laughs> Look, the lesbian and her boyfriend left one of their fortune cookies. <laughs> well, good, you can practice your reading. A child is a joy to everyone. Oh. Between the sheets. Oh, oh what there kind of a go. place are you running here, <laughs> Nestor? Between the sheets. No, do I do Well, now, you really don't think that I'm g Ah! Damn it, sorry. Screwed a line. Okay, cut. Sorry. It's a lot easier to act when you're sober, Mo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, David, where do you want us to take it from? How about we take it from when someone told Mo she was funny? Oh, wait. Wait, that never happened. I've seen premature ejaculators with better timing. <laughs> you know, do you think you could just, you know, shut up just for a few minutes whoa, so we whoa, can get through this? Because I would really like to get out of here. Too. Okay, okay, yeah. Mo, well, whatever you say. After yeah. all, you are the star of Mad TV. <laughs> then again, you're the star of Mad TV. <laughs> <laughs> Talk like five minutes, you know, just buck it okay, up. Okay, well, your voice is very like, annoying like that. I can't I hear think you. We just go okay, through this. And clear the set. All right, that's Thank it. You. Forget it. Can we get somebody else to do this scene? Maybe get Nicole. She'll do anything. Oh, look at her go. And if, if her ass jiggled anymore, Bill Cosby would stick a spoon in it. <laughs>